Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining this short introduction to the game-based learning module. By chance, it is precisely 11 a.m. as I start recording this, but that is here in Japan, where I live since 2014. My name is Ivan Lombardi, and I am a lecturer at the University of Kui, where I teach second language acquisition and game-based learning. Somewhat unsurprisingly, I like learning languages and playing video games, so I am glad to have the chance to blend both into the offering of this module. I also love mm, good fun and internet memes, so please do expect both factors to play an essential role in the course contents. This module is structured like a video game, developing on 12 levels, or stages of training, if you prefer. Uh, you know how it goes. The very existence of this world is threatened by an incoming and unspecified menace, and only you, yes, you, can stop it. In this module, uh, students take the role of heroes in the making and spend 12 weeks uh, practicing new tools and refining their fighting techniques to eventually put an end to this threat, while at the same time keeping track of their learning for the posterity and, of course, for themselves. This could be the end of the presentation, really. The core of the module is all here. By taking a course that is structured like a video game, students of this module will experience firsthand what uh, we as language teachers can learn from video games, from the way video games tell stories, from the way they engage the players, from the way they make you want more, more content. Uh, and as a bonus, the affordances and limitations of actually using video games as artifacts, as learning resources in a foreign language instruction scenario. For the most part, you can expect the learning experience in this module to be tailored to you individually. As in every good video game, you will have to make meaningful choices, you will have missions to accomplish, you will either work solo or team up with fellow heroes to achieve bigger goals. But uh, there certainly are areas of game-based learning as a field that we will focus on altogether and even explore in depth in these 12 weeks. For example, have you ever stopped to think about what makes a game a game. What are the defining features of a game? That is something that we will definitely discuss and explore in this module. Of course, while we play games. Otherwise, where's the fun? By the way, how do we define fun? How do we make fun a scientifically researchable concept? Well, Take this module and find out. What else? The history of video games for education? Absolutely. Um, how have uh, video games been used in language teaching and learning? That's a given. What current research indicates as the present and future of digital game-based language learning? Oh yes, that I am absolutely looking forward to. As I mentioned before though, I don't think of the potential of video games for language teaching only in terms of uh, tools that the language teachers can use, can add to their arsenal of teaching techniques. That's fantastic, don't get me wrong. But I think it is a somehow limited perspective on game-based learning. After all, this, this very module um, is not a video game per se. It is video game-like. In the latter part of the module, then, we will explore the potential of gamification or the use of game elements in a non-game setting to, to make a language course more similar to a video game. 
to leverage on the dynamics, uh, mechanics, aesthetics that make games so compelling, engaging, motivating. We will talk about which word fit, fits better here. Okay, this is enough of me rambling about this course. What follows is taken from the syllabus and slightly more serious than the overall tone of my presentation so far. Uh, I really wanted this here though because I did in fact plan this module with these goals in mind. I am especially fond of the last one, to apply game thinking to everyday life. Thinking like a game designer completely changed the way I approach language instruction. And this is, after all, what I want to share with you if you're willing to start this journey together into the fascinating world of digital game-based language learning. So please allow me to thank you in advance for your interest in this module, and I will be happy to answer any questions you might have. よろしくお願いします。